guys, so today is going to be a little bit of a gender bend. So to start off, you're just going to want to cover your face with a foundation. This one is a little bit darker than my skin tone. You don't want to apply anything that's too heavy, you just want to get a nice natural look. I'm going to cover my lips as well. Now I'm going to be taking some bronzer cream and I'm just going to be applying it to the top of my forehead very lightly just to give my forehead a little more of an angular look. Now I'm also going to be applying it to the sides of my face just to bring out my jaw, and I'm also um, bringing that down my jaw. I wanna get my, give my jaw a squared off look, so that's why I applied a straight line, and then I'm going down my jaw. And then I'm also applying a little bit near my cheekbones, just to give my face a more angular look. Now I'm just taking some down the sides of my nose, and I'm doing it kind of like further out just to make my nose look a little bit larger. And of course I'm going to just blend that in. And I'm also adding a little bit dark shadow to my eyelids. Now I'm taking a brow pencil and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to try to shape them or anything. If anything, I'm going to thicken them up a bit. I'm going to try to get rid of that arch and just kind of make them look a bit thicker, especially towards the end. Just use a natural sweeping motion and kind of just follow the natural shape of your brows. adding a little bit of lip color to like the inner parts of my lips over the foundation to kind of shape my lips to make them appear smaller and less full. dabbing it on my face with some browns and blacks to create a kind of stubbly look. And I'm just covering up the mustache part because I kind of like smeared it a little bit. So yeah, don't smear, just make sure you dab gently so you get a stippled kind of look. So 
I just have a little bit of product in my sponge and I'm just dabbing very gently. Just all around like my chin lip area where people grow fish hair. <laughs> a lot of different colors just to give it some depth and variety. So I'm just starting out with a brown, gently doing that, bringing it down my neck a bit too. And then I'm just going in with some black and I'm just gently, gently tapping that around my face. shape this differently if you want a more shaped kind of facial hair look but I was just going for like a grungy five o'clock shadow kind of thing. So yeah now you guys know what I would look like if I was a guy. Um <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below so you can continue watching my challenge. Bye guys.